Writers have returned to work now, but the deal still has one more hurdle to climb, a vote by thousands of members of the Writers Guild. Veteran screenwriter Tom Fontana built a comfortable life from writing for television, and he's not only been mentoring the next generation, but he's also fighting to make sure they can start earning the same financial stability. We spoke to Fontana before negotiations ended about his hopes for the future of the industry. A thousand years ago, I made a deal with God, or whoever's in charge of these things, and I said, if, if I could just make a living being a writer, I promise that I will do it every day and with my full heart. So this is the um, snow globe from the last episode of St. Elsewhere. Here we have all the St. Elsewhere scripts bound. But here you have Borgia. I own this place because of the money I made uh, doing the TV shows I've done. If Homicide, Oz, St. Elsewhere were premiered now um, on, uh, on streaming, um, uh, I, I don't know if I would have been able to afford to buy this house because um, the money is trickling in as opposed to it being a, a real amount of money back in the day. Most of the shows I've ever done have taken enormous risks. Homicide was a cop show, but it wasn't a cop show. Oz was a prison show. Well, nobody had done prison shows before that. And Borgia was a historical pageant, but it was really about all these complex characters. Because so many media companies got into streaming uh, due to the success of Netflix. The opportunities multiplied, but the spending went way out of control. The media company's attitude was, we have to save money, so we'll re reduce the number of weeks that we're gonna hire writers. And the problem is that on a weekly basis, a writer gets a nice amount of money. But if they only work six weeks out of 52, it's not enough money to have a life. I have the most ridiculous story about how I got into the business. I was a playwright up in, at the Williamstown Theater Festival in, in the Berkshires. And Blythe Danner was there doing a play. And Bruce Paltrow, Blythe's husband, was there because it was the strike of 81. She kept saying to Bruce, you got to go see Tom's show. You got to go see Tom's show. Blythe is furious with him because he didn't see the play. And he had this new show he was starting called St. Elsewhere, and she forced him to hire me to write an episode. All the mentoring that I've done is only me trying to still pay Bruce Paltrow back. So, I mean, that's why we have to fight. We just have to keep fighting. I come from a union family. In union, there is strength. If the strongest members of the union uh, protect the weakest members of the union, then that's a functioning union. I think if you're going to create a world on a television show, you have to have multiple voices. If you have all those different writers with all their different experiences and, the, and their lived lives, bringing the best of themselves to their scripts, then, then you have a real world. I work with Tom on City on the Hill and he started as a, a freelance and then staff writer and ended the third season as executive star editor. I worked on two series called Borgia and Copper uh, as his assistant and then as those series got renewed I moved up to script coordinator and after that I was here for a little while with, uh, during some development. You do above what your title says you do. Uh, you, but you're learning to do above what your title you know, says you did. There are plenty of writers who are starting out who should be compensated for work they've already been a part of. A lot of times it's been residuals that do that. And yeah. so if you cut residuals, it's like that stopgap, you know, when you're writing another spec script or you're writing, you know, something on development that you're trying to sell and it's like you need like two extra months of just breathing room to get a script done. I'm hoping that I, I can continue to make a career in it. Three seasons of City on a Hill, uh, you know, changed my life. 
fin financially. I have a mortgage and a wife and a, and a son. Like, I couldn't have afforded that on what I was making before. Both the Screen Actors AFTRA and the Writers Guild are passionate about doing what's right. This isn't just about our industry. It's been the summer of strikes. And I think that says something to the media companies, to the corporate people, to Wall Street, that they can't just assume we're all going to, like, whimper and take whatever money they want to give us. Some good context and perspective there. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.